Where did I get this entitlement to become offended? We're lacking in wisdom. Mm, we get in there. Because their foundation is so unstable. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I'm Trinity Mary, and this is actually my first video. You made it. So if you're in the faith and lifestyle topics, some beauty and self-care, stay tuned because I'm gonna have you covered. Today I want to talk about the topic of offense, something this world thinks or knows a lot about. But I'm not here to talk about how not to offend anybody because our whole faith offends <laughs> everybody. So I'm here to talk to those who struggle with being offended. You're always on defense, your nerves get struck a little more, a little differently. And hopefully you're at the point where I was where you're over it, you just don't know how to overcome it. So the definition of offense is an annoyance or resentment brought about by a perceived insult to or disregard for oneself's standards or principles. Offense is so nasty. I've never seen anything good come from it. I've never experienced anything good come from it. And almost every time that I've been offended, it wasn't even an intentional attack on me. But I was on guard in every debate, every conversation on self-preservation mode because I've been through some things, as I'm sure you guys have too. And if you've ever had to step up and be the protector of anyone else in your life, you know that just brings about a different type of offense and protectiveness, overprotectiveness over yourself and that other person or people. Of all the things that Jesus went through, being persecuted, arrested, and killed for no good reason, he wasn't offended. Now that makes me think, where did I get this entitlement to become offended? Let's get into it, shall we? Proverbs 17 verse 9 says, the one who forgives an offense seeks love, but whoever repeats a matter separates close friends. Now this is where offense gets real nasty because it will tear down friendships, relationships, all because of your emotions. We are called to love and forgive others, but when we are getting offended by things, we're blatantly not doing that. So when we struggle to love others, so much as to not forgive them whenever they are unintentionally or intentionally offending us, we're also battling the love of self. I gotta protect myself from what they may think. I gotta let them know that's not true as if I hold the power to determine what's true over myself. Proverbs 19.11 says, A person's wisdom has made him slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. When we get offended, we're lacking in wisdom. Mm, we get in there. We're getting angry quickly. How do we get wisdom? I'm so glad you asked. From our Heavenly Father. James 1.5 But if anyone is deficient in wisdom, he should ask God, who gives to all generously and without reprimand, and it will be given to him. When you are walking in wisdom, you don't have time to let the little things get to you. You recognize that you are on a greater mission, on a greater purpose, and some things do not deserve your attention, your emotions, any of that. And also keep in mind Romans 12, 21, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good, which brings us right back to Proverbs 12, 16, to seek love, to forgive an offense is to seek love, because I'm not going to let your kingdom of darkness overcome my mind that is focused on the kingdom of God. You feel me? on the same page and also when you walk in wisdom you hold true and you know that vengeance is of the lord's deuteronomy 32 35 so if there is ever an intentional offense towards you as god's child you need to know that god's got your back it is out of your hands you don't have to lift a finger i need you guys to realize that it is not always physical it's in fact always spiritual okay everything you're battling everything that you see everything that you go through not just being offended ephesians 6 12 for our struggle is not against flesh and blood the physical but against the rulers against the powers against the world rulers of this darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavens acts chapter 16 verse 18 paul is basically being harassed by the slave girl that's being used to tell fortunes she's following them around for days and then finally he turns and speaks to the spirit not the girl the spirit that's within her and commands it to leave her in jesus name I'm not saying do that when someone offends you but have the wisdom to know that your beef isn't with them it's with the enemy and have the wisdom and the love to not act ungodly to another person for all you know it could be the enemy using that person to distract you to make you fall off your path to get you to sin it's deeper than what you see and we can't be out here letting offense cause us to not do all that god has called us to do and lastly offense is rooted in insecurity now god really shook me when he told me this and i found that a lot of the times that i was feeling offended 
were times when I was subconsciously searching for validation. Like, dang, they don't want to agree with me. I need someone to agree with me. I need someone to think the same way that I do. When you know to your core that something is true, it genuinely doesn't matter what somebody says, what anybody says. When you know two plus two equals four, you're not arguing with a little kid that thinks it's six. So what do we need to do to become more secure and confident? We need to fill our minds up with some truth. God's word. Proverbs 3 verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. When we're insecure, we're leaning on our own understanding. And when we put someone else's thoughts or potential thoughts or our own thoughts above God's on a higher pedestal than God's, we are not trusting in God with all of our heart. Meditate daily on who God says you are, on God's word, on who God says he is, on who God is. This is gonna keep you planted on a firm foundation and everything else will begin to just float off your back. And this is why the world stays offended because it doesn't have a firm foundation. It doesn't have anything reliable to stand on. It's not rooted in any truth. So people get offended so easily because their foundation is so unstable. What anyone says about anything to you doesn't matter because it's not in them that you are holding your truth or getting your validation from. You know where your help comes from. You know who created you. You know who called you. You know who chose you. You know whose will you're following. And you know you have an assignment on your life a mission and a purpose to fulfill so you don't have any time to waste on ungodly emotions. Thank you so much for tuning in. Share this with a friend. It may or may not offend them. So, you know, maybe watch it with them. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Bye, love it.